y'all i don't even know why i put myself through the stress i do knowing my god gonna step every time every single time and i still put myself through all that worrying and all that stressing like i feel like a whole new person already <sighs> we just do the most sometimes which, is, which i can't help it because i'm just an overthinker but oh my goodness like i'm i could have had a heart attack i think stressing about something that he already done worked out and planned out I still got my shortfalls and downfalls. I ain't never not been took care of though. Let's get it together, people. We can depend on our God. So I'm gonna insert in a video I put on Facebook, but um I just wanna say what happened after that. So well, I'll tell y'all the whole story. So, the casino sent me, that's close to me, sent me $100 to go play, you know, just for free. And so, you could go and you had to go that day. So, I went yesterday. And you can't just, like, cash out what they give you, which was $100. You can't just cash it out. And I was like, I need money that's going to, you know, hold me over to I get paid on the 15th on my new job. And so, I was like, whatever I win, you know, that's what the Lord said I need. That's what I need. So I go play. I win $30. Well, it was like $30, $34, something like that. So I I played back the, the $4 just for fun. And then um, I brought home the $30. So I got home. Well, I got back to where my, I'm, my friend went with me. So we got back to where my car was, and I was looking at my back tire, and I was like, why my tire look like that? So it looked like it was budging a little bit. So when I got the car, they told me that the tires might be dry riding soon, and I need new tires. So I'm like, cool, whatever, when I get, you know, I didn't have a job now that I have now. I was going to save up for the tires. Go ahead and start saving up for them. But now that, you know, I had the job on the way, I was like, okay, when I get a new job, I just get new tires. So I'm looking at the bulge in my tire, and I'm like, okay. Lord, just let me make it to the place. I'll go tomorrow after I drop Arpy off at school. So I get to my grandma's house to pick up Arpy. And I told my grandpa, like, what was going on or whatever. And he was like, you want to drive my car? And I was like, no, nah, I'm going to go to the tire place as soon as I get drop Arpy off at school. So yesterday we had a whole big fiasco about her not wanting to go to school. And I ended up sitting outside the school for like 30 minutes with her. So she stopped crying and it was a lot. So... Today, she tried to do the same thing, but I, I got her, we got her to go. So she went in and I drove to the tire place. So I went in there and I was like, yeah, I need y'all to look at the back tire. I'm, y'all go in that place so much, they know me. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I need you to look at that tire, whatever. And I went and sat down, played phase 10. So I'm like stressing out about how I'm about to have to pay for a tire. And... You know, when you in the top, when you in the play, like car place, every time they come in and start talking, you start listening to what they're saying because you think they're talking about your car. So I heard him say, that car, that tire is gone. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, he finna call around and see, you know, if he can find a tire somewhere because usually they don't have my tire size. If they do, they usually have one. And I have to call around and go, go get it from another place. So if I don't order them ahead of time, they don't have them. So... But now that I think about it, I got I'm on a different car. I'm thinking about my monster, but still, that's what I was thinking he was doing. So he comes in. And normally, you know, they come and say, you know, this is what's wrong with your car. It's gonna cost this much. Do you want us to do it or not? Right. So I'm waiting on him to call, call me. I'm like, dang, I've been sitting here a long time for him to not say, you know, nothing. So he comes and he says, All right, we got you ready to go. And I was like, What? And he was like, Yeah, you I got you ready to go. And I was like, okay. So I get over there, and he's like, $30 and in in so-and-so cent. And I said, what? He said, $30 and 11 cent. I said, okay. So I put the $30, <laughs> $30 out. I ran to one at the casino last night and got out 10, 11 cent I had in my wallet. And I gave it to him. And he, they just patched the whatever was wrong with the tie. I was like, stupid. 
like God gives you what you need. I asked him last night to give me what I needed. And apparently I needed the $30 for the tie, you know. And uh, the way I got that money, the way I got that money was, um, it's like you can play on the casino website for free. And it's just like any other game. And when you get to a certain amount of points, you can buy like free play to play in the actual casino. So everybody had been on the website complaining about how they had hiked the prices up to like a million points. Like, no, like not like just a million. It's like mine was at like 27 million for $10 worth of free play. And so they was like, well, it's based off how much you play in the casino and all this. And um, it resets like every 113 days, something like that. And so, like, I ain't been paying no attention to it. I just been playing for fun. I, ain't, I mean, I ain't worried about it. I, I mean, I don't go to the casino to win. I go j- just to have fun. So, like, I go play $20 and go home. So, like, no. So, um, yeah. So, I, when I got on yesterday, it, the, my thing was at, like, Long story short, I paid like eight eight hundred thousand points for a hundred dollars in free play. So that's how I got the hundred dollars in free play. Um, and I was almost at like a million or something points, and I didn't want it to like like if I like ignored it today and then tomorrow it'll go back up because that's happened to me before. So I was like, okay, I need to buy this right now, and I need to go when you buy it. You buy it for a specific day, so you have to go the same day you bought the thing for so i bought it for wednesday and it was wednesday so i had to go wednesday to go do it or it expire so yeah that's how that went so if you want to play for free casino games for free you can get on there but you can actually win like real life prizes because they have like drawings where you can win stuff and then they have like tournaments where you play for like 30 minutes or 15 minutes and you win stuff depending on where you place and then they got auctions where you can auction your points to win something so yeah so that's how that happened but it was just like i was so y'all okay so i screwed up yesterday not yesterday tuesday and it was eat when i say it was eat me up i was crying all day yesterday and so i was like see god's not gonna bless me anymore because i made a decision on something not too long ago and I got a blessing right behind it. So I knew that was the right decision to make. And then now I don't want to mess it up. And I'm not going to get blessed no more. And then I started thinking today. That's how I went to sleep. God. Even during the times I was doing stuff I wasn't supposed to be doing. Still blessed me. He blessed me when I want to eat out. He blessed me to have enough money to do that. And I don't eat the same thing, you know. I don't have to eat oatmeal every day or, you know, stuff like that. So, it's not even, like, I ain't missed out on nothing. Like, I'm just overthinking. I'm trying to be, I'm, I feel like I'm always inside having an internal battle about what I'm supposed to be doing, what the right thing is, and what God says to do. And what my brain is telling me to do, my body is telling me to do, and the way my life is going. Like, I always had a struggle with deciding what to do when. And to how serious to take this part and how lightly I should take this part. And then I'm like, okay, well, God knows that I struggle with these things. And, of course, he forgives me when I indulge or whatever. But I still beat my beat myself up about it. Like I was beating myself up about it all day yesterday. And then like we got in the choir yesterday and the first song he had picked out for the hymn was Don't Give In to Temptation and I just bust when I say I was bust that crying. So I'm reading it and singing the songs and then I'm singing the songs we've been singing to get ready for the coming weeks and I'm just like being convicted of, see, I told you this, and, you know, you still did what I told you not to do, and, yeah, but, 
I, I really got on to tell you about my blessing. So, yeah. I'm getting my feelings again. So, I don't know what to do. Y'all, life is hard. Um, I was going to tell y'all some other stuff. But i add this in real quick. One of the things... Okay, so my new job is a teaching job. I'm going to have some videos about that coming up soon. But something that happened today is I've been using an app to help me with like practicing my speeches and it'll give me like feedback and then tell me I need to do this and this and this. Then it'll give me exercise to do. So I get on there today. Did not even know I was like on a free trial thing and everything I want to do is locked. So I'm like, oh great. Now I'm going to be paying for an app. But that's fine. I can make them reimburse me because, yeah, it's work related. So it's got, I got, I got to have it like. That's the reason I was one of the reasons I was doing so well so far is because of the app. So I I do not mind paying twelve dollars a month for it at all. So I'm gonna leave it right here before it gets too long. So bye. <laughs>